Hello and welcome to Euchromedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is how to create a color picker effect in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so we are in After Effects and let me show you what we're going to create today. So I have this null right here and if I click and drag and move it, watch what happens when I hover over any of these colors. So if I hover over green, my logo over here becomes green. So if I hover over blue, it becomes blue. So essentially it's like a color picker. And let me show you how to set this up. So for this setup, I have this point here, this null right here. And then we have this colors shape layer, which has all of our colors. And we also have this Euchre Media logo shape layer. And inside here, I have the color of the back shape, the circular shape that I can control. Whatever color I pick in here, we'll place in there. So that's what I'm gonna start with here. I'm gonna alt click on the stopwatch for this color. And then inside here, I'm gonna set some variables. So the first variable is gonna be color picker. So I'm gonna say color picker and I'm gonna tell it to be the position of our point null here, that one right there. And then the second variable is gonna be colors. And I'll tell it to be this color shape layer, okay? So next, we're gonna write our expression. And to do that, we're gonna to go to this expression helper, and then we're gonna to go to layer, general, and then sample image. So if I click on this expression, is going to bring it into our expression window here. And then we're going to do some adjustments. So I'm going to replace this point to color picker. So I'm going to paste that in there. Okay. Now we have to do one more thing, and that is place this colors right before this expression. So I'm going to say colors, period. So now if I let go, you can see that it's grabbing the color from the position of my null. So if I click on this null and move it around, you can see that it's working well. Now let's go over a few things here. And right in here, you can see 0.5 and 0.5. And essentially what that is, is a sample area. The point right here, which is our anchor point right here, the sample area of that point is 0.5 pixels both ways, left and right and up and down. So essentially the sample area is one pixel on X and Y axis. Now we can increase that. So right now it's a small tiny point here, as you can see, but we can increase that. Let's do something more dramatic, like let's do 50. Okay, and do the same thing here. All right, so now if I move it around, you can see that now we have a bigger sample area. And because of that, we have a smoother switch between each color. So it's more of a gradual transition. All right, thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. And if you would like to have the project file of this tutorial, you can download it at euchromedia.com slash tip45. But until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is euchromedia.com.